Hi there again my ad writing friends. Today we are going to talk about some uh, forkling and uh, some uh, chat about uh, luggage. Soft luggage or hard luggage. So uh, we could start with the GPS mount. While I'm waiting for the power port GPS mount, I have just taken a handlebar ram mount and uh, bolted that on the original cover with a short ram mount bar. It holds up pretty well. I've been riding with it uh, a couple of days. Checked it out on the motocross track and uh, some other tracks. And uh, it seems to hold up well. I've seen on the ad riding community that it could be fragile and it could break with time. But uh, I think it will do as long as I'm waiting for something else to come out and I could choose the best one. So probably KTM, Touratech and others will come up with something. Uh, tell me what you think about this and uh, what you have done to your 790. If you're going all with the SW Motec or the 3D print printed uh, versions out there, please leave a comment or something. Let's see what you've done. There have been some talk about the gear shifter on mine this is very tightened I have uh, been riding with it and uh, checked it for after every ride so it seems to hold up very well there is a lock washer there I think my dealer or, or KTM factory made it right before delivery but I will check it very very close uh, then there have been some talking about leaking I've not seen any leaking yet it's very dry I have to check about that too as well with time before the thousand kilometer service and after it I will have a check in that all right, that's what I've done so far. Some other forkling that I've done, some stickers, of course. You know what it is. The most important thing that doesn't weigh that much, some sticker forkling. It gets fast with this, doesn't it? Yeah, as you can see, I have routed an excess of the cable to the as you can see I've routed the excess of the power power wire to the GPS around the this uh, dashboard as well the USB port uh, aside of that if this shouldn't hold up I have mounted a uh, the original handlebar ram mount with a longer uh, ram mount bar uh, on my handlebar just in case or this should fall or something I could move it down here there are enough of wire to move it down here if I need to otherwise I think I will put my mobile phone on there if needed so let's move over to luggage you know for sure in the ad riding community that there are discussions about soft luggage or or hard luggage and as far as i remember uh, that discussion has been going on since the ad rider inmate cold batch days in russia when he go went out with a soft luggage and was a good ambassador for that what i did on the 690 it's good to refer to that because the 690 didn't have a luggage rack uh, originally and I didn't mount one either instead I mounted this Motonaut soft luggage rack that they called it that mounts with strap around the fender if you don't even have a rack uh, 
and these points strapped down to the frame somewhere and then you have these rings that was attaching points for soft luggage on top like this or you could as well fit to that ring and to a low, lower point uh, like cano bags dry bags that's what I did. I have a video of that since some years ago in the 690, how this was set up totally. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that on this bike, but that would be that would be the most lightweight option for luggage if I remove all this and do as I did on the 690, mount the Motonaut soft luggage rack. Uh, it's tempting to do so. I might do so if I need to go more lightweight than for example another option with the racks that i bought i have told you before in the latest video that i opted for uh, this uh, oem racks made by Tortec. so we should mount them in this video and look how it looks most often i only travel with a small bag a dry bag like this you could of course mount this on the length way or on the cross way what I could recommend for fast strapping of these kind of bags is these uh, rock straps. They straps very fast and then on this type of bag with the handles it stripes down even faster. Just hook them around the handles. You tighten it down. The excess you have to bind up, of course. So that sits there, will not move anywhere. And outside of this soft bag, I as well have a small dry bag that has a quick lock in this small Ortlieb I used to have my rain coat so this is the setup that is most common when I travel with my bike for long weekends typical three to four days it's time to mount those racks and look how that looks All right, guys, three and a half kilos of uh, junk later. <laughs> Look at this beauty, or it was a beauty. <laughs> what the heck have I done with the bike? I think scaffolding is the right word for this. I didn't know what to expect when I order this as extra hmm maybe some romantic ideas since I had the mighty GS that this should be good but now when I look at this I really wonder we need to see those panniers on it so look what I found here to these Sega boxes. All right, uh, the panniers are mounted. 
it gets a little bit awkward because uh, <coughs> at the mighty GS this end was at the rear they are in the opposite position on this bike since the exhaust are on the other side well now we see the shocking truth <laughs> That's a badass. Yeah, as you can see, there have been with me some travels. Chris Wiltus, you maybe know that one. Drinking team in Prague, of course. That was a good one. Yeah, <clears throat> what do you say about this, guys? I think it's a little bit wide. I have to measure it for you and see how wide it is. Right, 104 centimeters wide with these panniers. That was more, that was more than I expected. The handlebars width is about 92 centimeters, something like that. So these are more than 10 centimeters wider. That's something to consider that you have to be real careful with riding with a wider luggage system than your handlebars personal don't like that so what i would like to hear from you guys is what you think about this hard luggage versus soft luggage these old classic sega panniers compared to my motonaut system or why not tell him about you guys that have experience from the Giant Loop, Altrider or Adventure Spec soft luggage systems. The best part of this is not welded into the bike, it's just easy to bolt off the bike. And uh, that could really be the case. So just tell me what you think about this. I'm very curious about that. I know you're purists out there. Uh, since the days of cold batch and uh, there are as well purists about the hard luggage system if I tell you what I think about this <clears throat> pros for the hard luggage it's uh, very easy to pack you have a great storage space that is easy to uh, to use all of it uh, you can sit on it, use it as a table when you camp. As I told you, it's easy to load and unload your, unload your inner bags when you arrive to uh, your destination and so on. That's the pros. You can stuff additional uh, dry bags on top of it. <clears throat> If you have a pillion and you need a lot of stuff, if you ride two up, then it could be a very, very good option with this hard luggage. That is the pros what I can see of it. Some say it's pretty dangerous because if you go down, you could get stuck with your legs behind, stuck with your leg at these edges. I don't know about that. P probably that's true. On the that's the negative side of it, and it's bulky. If you ask me, it doesn't look very good on this type of bike that uh, have the off-road appearance. Very clear uh, for myself. 
I want this type of bike to be clean from uh, this kind of luggage most of my riding however there will be weekends so I need to figure out if I go with this or with the soft bags most often as I told you I don't use more luggage space than I could fit in my small black 35 liter bag on top so that's probably how, how we're going to travel then the question is if I don't use these bags am I going to leave this on this so to speak scaffolding I'm very tempted to bolt it off actually at the same time they are like protection for the muffler and um, very handy if you get stuck to to grab it's like grab handles yeah let us hear more about that please comment something that bothers me is that the width of 104 centimeters does not really fit into the picture of uh, what i intend to use this bike for compared to the mighty gs that these bags were loaded to before i don't do that type of riding very much that i need this large luggage capacity but it could happen so yeah whatever i will have to look for options i think but i will have a test ride with this on and loaded before i give up this uh, concept and of course we need to do some farkling at the bags and honor them some because they have served me very well through the years <laughs> Well, all right, guys. I loaded up the bags with a weight that is equal to a maybe weekend packing. And I didn't know what to expect. I haven't ridden with these bags for, for years. But of course, you don't feel them when you're in the pilot position. It's like they're not there. And uh, for this type of back roads and uh, double track gravel roads, that's not a problem. This could be perfect for that kind of riding, of course. The bike feels good, loaded up. Didn't notice anything that I have any load on the bike. I tried it in 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, to test if they uh, catch up uh, air but it didn't feel much about that either if anything so that's uh, nice to test them always good don't look at the looks every time 
<laughs> even if it doesn't look uh, what you could expect with this kind of bike, probably. Uh, however, feels good, so that's not the problem to ride with them. It's when it gets tight. Uh, I have another thing here for Thomas. Thomas Hansen in Norway. On this fill, uh, fuel consumption 5.4 liters at 100 kilometers. And uh, for Thomas, as I said, uh, the fuel gauge is uh, blinking red when it's turned low as 20 kilometers left. And I know that Thomas told me that when he filled up the gas tank, it was only up to the fourth filled quadrat in the symbol. In, at my bike, it fills up completely to the fifth bar. So it differs on different bike, apparently. This seems okay. The bolt seems okay at the uh, gear shift uh, linkage as well. No leakage from uh, any coolant. No leakage from the lower engine case. It's dry. That's good to know. Leave some comments on the tip on soft luggage as well. As I mentioned before, Giant Loop, Altrider, stick with the Mutten Out, uh, uh, Adventure Spec. You know them all. Speak up about that as well. Alright, I think that was all for today. Please leave uh, comments on this uh, luggage topic. I know it's sensitive. And there are, of course, opinions about this. And uh, I hope you leave comments. Whatever it could be. Hard, soft. What's up to you? I know what's best for me. See you on the next one.